This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you're thinking about creating an online blog, store, or portfolio, Squarespace is the place to be. Aside from them having 24 seven customer support, they also have built-in designer templates, which are easy and simple to use. So if you guys are interested in bettering your online presence with the website, make sure you guys head over to squarespace.com right now and start your free trial. And you guys can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imaging for 10% off your first purchase. Links will be in the description. As a creator and somebody who has been through what I'm about to talk about, it's always a burning urge inside of us to want to create the best possible thing that we can create. And with this urge comes the contemplation in our minds of upgrading. Now when the time comes within our careers where it's time to upgrade, we're always thinking, should I upgrade the camera? Should I upgrade the lens or the lighting or the stabilizer? Pretty much everything else that goes into the creative process of video production. It's always a new camera out there on the market and it's always a thought in the back of our minds like, should I upgrade to this? Will this make my video quality go to the max? Will this make this better? Right now I'm filming on the Sony a7 III. This is Sony's latest mirrorless model and probably the most sought after camera of 2018. Now in my hands, I have the Sony a6000. This is a mirrorless Sony model as well, but the difference is this is four years old. Let's try to put this high-end glass on this little camera and see what we can produce. See if I can convince you guys to get out of the trap of constantly wanting to upgrade your camera. Let's see. All right, there we go. How does it look? Also, we filmed the intro on this camera as well. This is where this video concept goes completely out of the window because I'm an idiot and I totally forgot that this camera has onboard audio and no audio jack and I decided to leave these little silver little things on it. So as I'm sitting here trying to vlog, this is all you hear in the audio. Lots of rattling and jingling. Understand the fact that... So I'm going to pick up this concept right here in the office so you guys can hear what I'm saying. So usually I'm on the side of buying new lenses, stabilizers, lighting, pretty much everything else in the creative field before buying a new camera. But I get the fact that a lot of these old cameras just lack features and a lot of these features are necessary for some people who wanna grow and improve their craft and create better video production. So while using this little camera, this A6000, it was a couple features that I instantly noticed that were lacking on this camera from using the Sony a7 III. The first of which was the audio. I went to go mount up my Video Mic Pro Plus and I noticed that it was not an audio jack on this camera. So onboard audio, as opposed to having a dedicated microphone that is not gonna pick up all the jingles inside of the camera and all the banging up against the camera and the wind noise is a definite negative with using an older camera like this one. The second thing that I instantly noticed while trying to use this camera was this thing lacks picture profiles. When using my Sony a7 III, it's tons of picture profiles and a lot of different customization options that I can do to craft a picture profile that is best for the way that I shoot. When using the Sony a6000, I noticed that there were none. So me filming on this camera, all the footage that you guys are seeing from it is me just using a standard picture profile and lowering down the contrast within the profile just a little bit. And probably the biggest thing that I noticed while using this camera was the lack of resolutions. Resolutions is pretty big for the people out there who are trying to grow. 4K as opposed to 1080, 4K tends to look better the majority of the time, so I get it, you know? I completely understand. One thing about this camera lacking features though is all cameras have flaws. I personally feel it's up to the creative to know your camera and your gear in and out and put yourself in the best possible position to create the best possible outcome. One of the main reasons I'm typically on the side of upgrading your lens before your camera is lenses are what completely morph the look of footage, not cameras. A lens never gets outdated. A lens always has the character that you purchased it with. You can literally use lenses forever. People are still using Helios lenses, vintage lenses, because of the character and the looks that they provide for the footage that they're filming. Most of the time, a lens is never gonna get outdated. And now with so many different adapters and speed booster attachments for cameras, you can literally use a lens from camera to camera to camera to camera and keep it forever. If you constantly just upgrade your camera over and over and over again, you're constantly 
probably gonna be filming the same type of footage, but just have it be a little bit sharper or probably at a better resolution. In conclusion, I feel if you have a strong foundation of lenses, stabilizers, lighting for the video production that you're creating, a new camera can hold off for a little bit. But if you're in that boat where you need better features and functionality to better create the production that you're trying to create, and this is gonna help you and make your workflow a lot more efficient, then you might need to upgrade cameras. Just don't get in the trap of looking at a long list of features that don't even pertain to what you're doing. Take this video as an example. An older camera paired with some decent lenses, a good stabilizer, some good lighting conditions can definitely create some professional looking video work. You don't always need the latest camera. You might just need a new lens. You might just need a new stabilizer. You might just need new lighting. You might just need to improve on your storytelling or the way you film. A new camera is definitely not always the answer to your problems. Let me know down in the comments your stance on this topic. Would you rather continuously upgrade a camera? Do you think a lens is a better investment? When do you think it's a good time to upgrade your camera? Let me know down in the comments. I'm interested to know. If you guys are new here and you enjoyed this video, and it helped you at all make sure to drop it a like comment also subscribe to the channel peace out guys